Hey guys, in this problem, we're looking for the percent uncertainty for a measurement that was given as 1.57 meters squared. This is kind of a strange problem because most of the time when we're looking at measurements, we're looking at how the measurement was made to kind of determine how much uncertainty there is. But in this problem, we're not given any information about any of that. We're just given, hey, here's the measurement, find the uncertainty. So really, there is kind of a bit of wiggle room in how you could interpret this problem. But I will say the textbook that inspired this problem does talk about a pretty good general rule for estimating this. That in general, even with limited information, you could at least assume that the uncertainty is going to be plus or minus the one unit of the most precise digit. So for this measurement, the most precise unit is in this hundredths place. So we could assume it's one, one direction in the, or not one direction, but one unit in the hundredths place. So plus or minus 0 0.01. So that's what we will assume the uncertainty to be. So to take the percent uncertainty, we have to do the percent uncertainty. All we got to do is take the uncertainty, which is meters squared, by the way, not meters. Don't do what I did and write your units wrong meter squared, the uncertainty divided by the measurement itself. And then, of course, then you multiply by 100 to actually convert it into a percent. And if you put this into a calculator, then you find a percent uncertainty of about 0.637%. Now, again, with problems like this, there's a lot of like wiggle room and, and we're only asked for an approximate value. So we're really only estimating. So the best thing to do is to round this up to one significant figure. So let's just round this to 1%. There's a 1% uncertainty in our measurement. And this agrees with the, the answer key from where I found this problem. So 1% is the answer to this problem. That is all for this video. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please subscribe and tell your friends about this channel, because that'll help me out in making more videos just like this one. If you have a request or a question, leave a comment down below and I will help you out as best as I can. And I hope you all have a lovely day. Bye-bye.